Hello! <laughs> it's New Year's Eve 1997. Me and Miles were back in 1997. And it's time for Pride Shockwave 1997. Yeah. <laughs> also, Can you believe it's 1997? I cannot. I wasn't born yet. I was four. Nice. I got put in charge of an MMA company. It was quite some time. <laughs> um, so it's the Gracie One Climax, Wild. I'm very excited. And boy, do we have an amazing show for you tonight. We're going to go down to Blur Cat Radio, and they're going to give you all the introductions. Tonight's main event will be the finals of the Gracie Wood Climax, which is for the King of Pride Championship. That is... Very excited to see who wins. Um, so the two semi-finals we have, we have Hoist Gracie meeting Henzo Gracie. Hoist mm -hmm. is uh, 2-0 in Pride and Henzo is 2-1. Yeah. the only Gracie who's ever lost in Pride. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Hickson oh. Gracie, who is 3-0 and the current King of Pride champion, uh, will be taking on Fighter Gracie, who is 2-0 as well. Oh, my brain already hurts. <laughs> <laughs> many too many of them. Uh, so there you go, yeah, the final will be the final, the main event will be the final of that tournament. Uh, we also have tonight, oh, Miles, Takada's back. The Iron yes. Man, of course, after going the distance, picks a Gracie on the first ever Pride show. Takada. Ta and he will take on the unbeaten Geza Big Dog, Calvin. God, look at that win loss record. Oh, it's so high, we can't even show it to you. There's too many zeros. Legally. In it. <laughs> Legally, we cannot show you this. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, Takada, a massive underdog yet again, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think the Burst, the Blurcard staff picks are uh, they're mixed up there because there's no way people will expect Takada to win this one. No, he's he he is the ultimate underdog. Ultimate underdog. Wow. <laughs> Making his debut in Pride tonight, Mark Coleman. We poached him from the USC. We kidnapped him abroad to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he will take on Kimo Leopoldo, who's probably going to carry a giant cross to the ring again. Oh, nice. <laughs> Especially because it's the big New Year's Eve show. In the Tokyo Dome, what, I imagine. What, what a worker. <laughs> uh, Frank Shamrock will take on a continuous war against Brazil, which I think was going on at some point. <laughs> uh, he will take on Ricardo the Mutant Berets, who is making mm -hmm. his Pride debut. Mm -hmm. uh, shoot Rocky. Roy Salgar returns after his uh, amazing clash, but I think it was Henzo Gracie last time. Oh, shoot Rocky. <laughs> As he will take on another Pride legend in Mr. 200% himself, Yoji Anyo, in oh. a battle of the Pride legends. And of course, Miles, in other Pride legends, sadly on the sideline here tonight, Koji Gatao, but he will be watching closely as he has the next title shot. <laughs> it's the winner of the Gracie World Climax. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the man who was unsuccessful last time out in the title fight, Magomed Khan Volkan Gamzatkanov <laughs> takes on the Russian bear Oleg Taktarov in a clash for wild tires. <laughs> <laughs> you know you could have just said Volkan. <laughs> yep, but I have to say the full thing, legally. <laughs> I, I admire you for your dedication. Uh, Pokhan grabs daddy, taking on Oleg Taktarov. Uh, then we have uh, what is sure to be a fantastic technical encounter as the unbeaten Kazushi Sakuraba takes on the run Carlos Newton. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, uh, of course, with the two semi finals of the Gracie Will Climax, as already mentioned, they'll be opening the main card uh, Hicks and Gracie versus Spoiler Gracie and Hoist Gracie versus Henzo Gracie. Mm -hmm. Four of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the prelims, we even have. We got prelims tonight, Miles. Oh yeah, I forgot about prelims. Mm. The Pride Tiger himself, Kiyoshi Tamura. <laughs> <laughs> Look into it. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, we'll take on Merlo Bustamante, who last time out beat Pele, I think. Or Rafael, Pele! Rafael Cordero. It wasn't Pele. <laughs> oh, I got excited. I forgot about Pele. And finally making his debut after suffering an injury in his last camp against uh, Gary Goodridge. Mm -hmm. Ikehisa Manoa is here. Yay. Actually, no, he think he, he fought before, didn't he? He beat... We'll, we'll say it's his first camp. He beat Tom Erickson. First... He beat Tom Erickson on the first show. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's back. He's taking on, however you pronounce that, Jupe Castile. <laughs> A very rugged-looking <laughs> man. Oh, he's... 
<laughs> just that. however you pronounce that. That's his, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a very nice chin. <laughs> Cut from someone. Will that, will that come into the fight? I imagine it will. <laughs> will he be unable to hit him with his nice chin? <laughs> <laughs> So distracted by how nice his chin is. By how handsome he is. It's like I can't I can't possibly hurt such a handsome man. <laughs> and of course, two fighters making their debut here tonight, the monster Kevin Randleman taking on Yamato Damashi Ensign Inoue in a battle of two big boys. Oh two two large men. Two large men. And that's gonna be opening up the show here. As people who are, will be, who will be the largest man? <laughs> who will be the largest man? Um, the crowds are fighting into the Tokyo Dome as the prelims begin. Kevin Randleman taking on Ensign Inoue, Otayman Sukahara, the referee for the fight, and our judges Shiakawa, Sukade, and Takaji. <laughs> oh, we're going right in, we're hitting all the big cards right away, hitting, hitting all the big memes straight away, <laughs> hitting all the high spots. Uh, Ensign being in front of his whole crowd gets a loud cheer as he enters. Yay! And round one begins. <laughs> Here we go, Miles. The first ever Pride New Year's Eve show. Or I'm sure it'll become an annual tradition. <laughs> if we make it that far. If we make it that far. Uh, they start with a touch of gloves. Change of strikes. Very respectful. Big in Japan. Uh, quick exchange of strikes doesn't lead to anything. They exchange mm -hmm. strikes, but nothing gets through. Touch to touch strikes, there are any damaging shots. It's going to be one of these. Uh, I love these matches. Both fighters step into strike. Ensign hits a right jab, left jab, but can't hit a right cross. Randleman hits a jab and a good right hand. Ensign closes it, looking to unleash some strikes. He throws a punch, but Randleman avoids it. They both come together and strike. Ensign misses a right hook and leaves himself open to be countered with a left hand. Then Randleman goes in for the takedown. Both these men are more adept on the ground. Um, and uh, Randleman gets side control for the takedown. He fires away with a few weak punches. Uh, Ensign tries to pass the guard, but Randleman doesn't allow it. Uh, Randleman pounds away, hitting several big shots from the side oh. control position. And he lands some more, and he keeps landing them. <laughs> <laughs> Randleman fires off some rights, but Ensign isn't troubled by them. And, uh, as Ensign tries to get him into his guard again, he blocks it, and Randleman pounds away, but Ensign is currently dealing with them. God, he is taking a lot of punishment here. Um, uh, he is. Randleman blocks Ensign as he tries to transition to guard again. Randleman tries to pound on Ensign, but all the blows are dealt with. He blocks an attempt to pull guard, fires off rights, blocks the guard, and uh, the referee does them up. <laughs> oh, Yay! <boo. laughs> the Pride special. Uh, Randleman is starting to breathe a little deeper now. Oh. He moves forward, constantly trying to pressure Ensign into exchanging strikes, trying to close the distance, and he steps into the pocket. Uh, he throws a quick one too, but doesn't land either blow. I should have put my steam in offline. Uh, they've shaved a few strikes, but only significant lands. Ensign can't hit a set of left jab, but then scores with a right cross. And they stand in first strikes. <laughs> they come together and strike. Ensign hits a left jab, but finds his right cross blocked. Randleman hits a left hand. Randleman appears to be feeling a little fatigue. His hands are starting to lower just a fraction. They engage. Ensign slips past a right hook, hits a left jab and a big right hand, which just misses. They move in and engage. There's a burst of strikes. Ensign doesn't connect with a left jab, but also misses with a right hand. <laughs> <laughs> I should put Steam up line mystery now. <laughs> That's going to be down there now. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Sorry, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh, I don't know what just happened there <laughs> well <laughs> let's stay in <laughs> it was all part of the script brother. yeah all part of the fight mm -hmm. uh, end of the round is coming quick they engage round of the dodges a right hand and hits a right cross on a counter but they meet in the centre solid right from Randleman they come together and strike Randleman hits a jab on a right cross after Ensign goes off balance and time expires Miles, what did you think of that first round? Uh, it was quite good. I, I didn't really understand what the steam thing was about. <laughs> yeah, that was that a very was strange, very strange part of the uh, our production here tonight. Like, I I don't know what steam is, <laughs> like, except for the you know mysterious water smoke. <laughs> very but... mysterious. 
<laughs> Very mysterious war smoke. War smoke. <laughs> Coming soon, <laughs> Shikara. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is such a Shikara game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there's the bell, and round number two has begun. <laughs> they come together and strike. Uh, Randleman counters the right hand with a right hook. They engage in the center. Another right hook from Randleman. And Ensign is now mm-hmm. starting to breathe heavier. They come together and start to strike. Uh, Ensign misses with a big right hand, and he allows Randleman to hit a right hook. Ensign is a. Uh, not very accurate with his punches, it would seem. Oh. As Randleman dodges another right hook. He should probably um, mix up his striking a little bit. Unless he only knows how to punch with his right hand. Uh, Ensign misses a right hook and gets countered with a left hand and a right hook. But he ducks that one. And now Randleman looks very, very tired. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. Yeah, he's a very sleepy monster. Um, an exchange of strikes doesn't produce any real damage. Randleman acknowledges instructions from his corner with a nod of his head, and they engage. <laughs> he dodges the right again and hits another right hand. They engage with some more small strikes. They engage. He says, pass the right hook with another right hook. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, oh, he lands on one too. He did something. Oh. And Randleman scores a jab with a right hook. <laughs> he doesn't even need to dodge the punches to hit the right hook. Another strike exchange. They both look spent, and they fall into a clinch, because they're both so tired. Oh, is he going to back him into the ropes? Randleman looks to try and take him down. And some blocks it takes to hold the grapple, and time expires before we get some of the pride oh. special. <laughs> I was very excited about the possibility of pushing someone into the ropes. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to get it at some point, right? Multiple times, I imagine. Oh, God. <laughs> Be still my beating heart. <laughs> they engage in the centre, as round three begins. Randleman scores the jab, but he has a right hand blocked. Ensign doesn't connect to the left jab, but he lands a right hook. They come forward and engage. Randleman ducks, guess what? A right hook. <laughs> and counters with a left jab and a right cross. But now he looks exhausted. <laughs> they fall into a sloppy clinch. <laughs> Shades of Katow versus um, Yarbrough here. <laughs> oh man, the dr- don't break! Don't you compare this to the dream match? <laughs> Randleman tries to wrestle up against the ropes, <gasps> and he can't do it. It's oh. what a heel! Don't go in. That's like that's the signature spot of this company. Randleman looks to muscle up against the ropes, and he achieves oh. it. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Knee strikes the ribs, goes for a foot stomp, but Ensign works enough space, and he slips out back to center. Ooh. Ensign's gas tank also running low now. They gauge the center. Uh, he missed a right cross and the <laughs> encounters with a right hand. <laughs> Story of the fight here tonight. <laughs> that Ensign Inoue forgets he has a left arm. <laughs> <laughs> Ensign is breathing very hard. Ensign tries. Wait, what? Wait, what happened there? Randleman hit a right hand. He's breathing hard and he steps against the ropes, tries to cover up because he's been hurt. <laughs> Oh, no. Randleman moves in for the kill. That's a big right hand around the guard. Ensign's oh. blocked again. And he comes in close and smashes him with another right hand. Down he goes. He is out cold. Kevin Randleman oh. by knockout. After a very dull two rounds, a quite brutal knockout. If only he'd remembered he had a left hand. <laughs> I think both of them forgot that fight, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go, Wild. A knockout victory in 2-2-2 two, two, two of round three. Oh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Uh, Kevin Randleman. Kevin Randleman gives a name check to everyone at Next Generation MMA, all the sponsors, his friends and families, and he says he's looking forward to his next fight. Aww. What, what a baby face. Awesome boy. And now, here we go. Coming to us from Pancracism, Ikuhisa Manoa, after defeating um, Tom Erickson. He was the big underdog in that fight, of course. Mm hmm. And you have to think he's the underdog here again tonight, taking on a fellow cat wrestler, Jupe Castile, um, who outweighs him by close to 100 pounds. I thought you said cat wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, who knows? I got real excited for like a couple of seconds. I was like, ooh. <laughs> and uh, Yuji Shimada's is the referee. And at the judges' table, we have Shiakawa, Sakade, <gasps> and Takashi's back mm-hmm. again. God, he's after. <laughs> he's getting a lot of paydays tonight. Trying to sort those finances mm-hmm. out. <laughs> um, Castile's at least 80 pounds heavier. 
major disadvantage for minimum, but he's overcome worse. I think Ericsson was like 120 heavier than him or something. Really? Hey, Tom, is Tom Ericsson? No, wait, Tom Ericsson's not that heavy, is he? No, he wouldn't be. Tom Ericsson's just like a like a normal big man. Yeah, he's like 250, probably 260. What's this guy look like? He doesn't have a full body picture. I'm guessing he's very ripped, though. It looks like it from that. We'll, we'll imagine he's ripped. Yeah. Probably his little chicken legs, though. <laughs> uh, round one begins. Touch of gloves. Midwest straight in for the takedown. And he gets side control to form it. And he fires off with a handful of punches, each being taken on the gloves by Castile. Uh, Minimar tries to hook a leg and put an E bar in, but Castile defends it. Ooh. Castile to half guard. Uh, Minimar begins trying to get his leg free of the half guard, and he shows the skill slipping straight from half guard into mount. Very Ooh. impressive from Minimar, man. Uh, he fires away at punches, does a little in the way of damage. Minimar blocks Castile as he tries to sweep. Uh, some more uh, right hands that don't do much damage. And Castile tries to sweep, but Minowa takes the back. Could we be seeing the rear naked choke already? <laughs> he goes for it, but Castile doesn't allow his arm to get under his magnificent chin. <laughs> I told oh. you the chin was coming into it. It is. Uh, Minowa blocks the attempt to roll over, and he gets his hooks in. Really dominant position now, for the rear naked choke, and he flattens him, and Castile taps out. Ooh. Ikehisa Minowa, 2-0 in Pride. How long was that? 549. 549. Yeah, Ish. he was kind of just lying on him for a long time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. We have a rear naked choke spot already. We had a push against the ropes. God, the show has everything. <laughs> and there we go. Minowa says it was a tough fight, and he gives a show of respect to Castile. Oh, wholesome man. What a nice man. <laughs> and now, Miles, up next, um, Kiyoshi Tamura. Who uh, mysteriously uh, enters to the sound of a tiger roaring. Who knows what that's about? Oh. Uh, tune into TV, Asahai, in the new year. <laughs> She'll find <laughs> out. Um, and he's taking on Murilo Bustamante, who debuted last time out, uh, who has a fantastic name. Mm -hmm. And he's a student of the Carlson Gracie Jiu Jitsu team. Will, will he Bustamante today? Oh, who knows? I think I made that joke last time. <laughs> well, I hope you make it every time. <laughs> I'm planning to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big John McCarthy. Stepping in for yeah. the, the main event of our prelims. Nice. And our judges are Sakade, Takachi, and Fukumitsu. <laughs> God damn Takachi. Takachi is, is just... He, why is he always here? <laughs> God, the paydays for him tonight must be insane. <laughs> we are Who underway. Pays him? <laughs> I don't know. Takada, probably. <laughs> Uh, or the UK. I mean, you can't prove that legally. I want that in writing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Postamani uh, <laughs> looks confident. He shortens the range as he looks to strike. Uh, Tamura mm -hmm. looks like he was going to shoot, but Postamani takes the initiative first and throws a quick one too that doesn't land. Tamura mm -hmm. going in for the shakedown then, taking the opportunity, and he and Postamani pulls guard as he Ooh. goes to the ground. Tamura fires off a few weak punches to keep Postamani guessing. He tries to pass the guard. Um, they find themselves scrambling for position. And Tamura is up first and grabs Bustamante, getting back control that they both stand up. Uh, Tamura gives up back control and steps back, unhappy with the position. They are about equal of weight, he won't be able to do much um, suplexes or that kind of thing from there. But as they both turn to face again, Tamura goes right back in for the shit take down. And he gets hit down again. Ooh. That's two from two in under two minutes for Tamura. Oh, he's, he's, he really has the eye of the tiger. He sure does. <laughs> he's got that tiger spirit. <laughs> um, Tamura pounds away with right hands, but doesn't do much damage. Uh, Bustamante tries to sweep Tamura, but doesn't get anywhere. Tamura fires off a few punches without any great force. Tamura keeps him guessing with a few kick strikes. He tries to pass guard. They scramble again. And the scramble ends with Tamura grabbing Bustamante and shoving him up against the ropes. Yes! <laughs> And he goes he for the really takedown. He is a savior of pride. He sure is. <laughs> he gets a big takedown and manages to get side control as a result. And he goes for the Kimura. Bustamante doesn't allow it to be applied. Bustamante is just half guard, of course, with his jiu jitsu skills. He'll be very comfortable from his back, you'd expect. Um, Kimura tries to pass the half guard, but he finds himself unable to get, up, get past the half guard in his attempt. 
And Bustamante tries full guard, but he can't manage it. Uh, Tamura mm-hmm. throwing down a few punches to keep him guessing. And using an underhook, Bustamante looks to scramble. And he may regret that choice as Tamura gets side control. He fires off a few punches, but they're in trouble with any great force. Bustamante tries to move to guard, but Tamura doesn't allow it. Tamura fires off a few punches without any great force. Uh, Bustamante brings his legs in to trap Tamura into a half guard. It's, um, Bustamante's been very good at uh, working on the ground here. Uh, uh, Tamura catches his breath. Bustamante works with some separation with an underhook and scrambles, but Tamura seizes the opportunity leaping forward and securing side control. Ooh. Then fires off a few punches. <laughs> <laughs> Tamura <laughs> blocks Bustamante as he tries to transition to guard. A few more weak looking punches. Uh, Bustamante gets him back into half guard. <laughs> Throws a few right hands to the body. He busts, bursts into life, tries to scramble into a better position, but Tamura sees the opportunity and gets side control. Oh. And round one expires. Oh. You, you can hear some boos from the audience who weren't impressed with that round at all. Oh. <laughs> look, look, look. People booed the magic flute by Mozart. These people <laughs> just don't appreciate what they've been given. <laughs> this truly is the magic flute of MMA fight. <laughs> it is the magic flute of MMA. <laughs> um, there's the bell, and round number two begins. Um, uh, <laughs> steps in, looks on leash. Tamura had looked like he was angry for a takedown attempt, but couldn't take the initiative. Uh, I think I'm the first person, sorry, to ever talk about the magic flute in an MMA thing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um... Postamante fails to find a home for his jab, and then hits Tamura with a straight right. And Tamura shoots in for a takedown, not rocked by the punch. Postamante almost stops it, but he's left hopping on one leg while Tamura holds the other. And Tamura pushes him against the ropes. Yay! Tamura leans all of his weight up against Postamante, pressing him against the ropes. Yay! The next 30 seconds sees them hitting each other with short punches. Uh, with the ropes trapping Bustamante, Tamura goes low and tries to pull oh. his legs out from under him. But he can't get the takedown as Bustamante is able to wrestle into a dominant position. Uh, he tries some dirty boxing, but Tamura is able to break free and create some space. And then she was in for a takedown again. But Bustamante sprawls and then steps back to safety. Uh, mm. Bustamante can't connect with the jab, but then catches him with a right hook. Tamura comes in, apparently willing to take some hits, but means getting close enough to grapple. And uh, Bustamante takes his opportunity. With a jab and an attempted big right hand, and Tamura is able to clinch him. Uh, Tamura grabs an arm and tries to pull Bustamante down to the guard into his into the guard into his guard. We saw this last time, but uh, in so great seat, um, unsuccessfully. Mm-hmm. But uh, this time Bustamante is just able to take control of the clinch. Mm-hmm. Bustamante attempts a trip. It's unsuccessful. Yeah. Bustamante tries to reap a leg with a sharp sweep. He sweeps the leg. Yay! And Tamura is forced to full guard. Uh, Bustamante tries to pass guard. Tamura is able to keep him in guard. Uh, Tamura attempts to grab an arm from the bottom of the guard. Bustamante blocks it. Hmm. Uh, Bustamante tries to pound away on Tamura, and that'll be the end of round two. They're very evenly matched in the grappling. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who would you say is in the lead at the moment? Um, I think Tamura is initiating most of the takedowns. Are you saying that because he paid you to say that? Uh, no, TV Asahai, though, did pay us <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit of money. Um, that's that's neither here nor there. Mm. And uh, that was the most exciting round we've ever seen. Hopefully things will pick up in the next one. God, the mm-hmm. are very, um, they're very judgmental. <laughs> here we go, one last round. Do we actually hear for the right. mm-hmm. They can't appreciate the magic flute of their time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tom Berrickson or whoever it is covering it we know who you are <laughs> um, Tamura shoots in looking for a takedown and he gets it with a single leg and Bustamante pulls guard Tamura just kind of laying and praying again Bustamante mm. tries to sweep Tamura um, partially successful sweep, uh, sweep and they wind up in a wild scramble and Tamura ends up having to pull half guard Bustamante begins trying to get his leg free to get a better position and Bustamante's two skills in this instance, managing to leap forward into side control. Uh, he mm-hmm. throws a couple of punches to the body, blocks the attempt to pull guard, and we move into the second half of the round. Uh, Bustamante continues with just a few weak punches. 
Tamura tries to transition to a guard but can't manage it. Bustamante tries to get into mount. Tamura fights off the attempted mount and they wind up scrambling for position. The scramble leaves Tamura turtled upwards facing Bustamante. And Bustamante goes for a soccer kick to the head but Tamura is able to avoid it. Ooh, we haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, Tamura is starting to slow down a little bit. Bustamante is still moving well but he is definitely breathing a little deeper. They're, they're very evenly matched. Um, Tamura may have been setting up to shoot, but Bustamante takes the initiative and throws two quick punches. They don't really land. Move into the final six seconds of the round. A jab from Bustamante goes wide, uh, but then uh, he manages to hit Tamura with a straight right. And Tamura shoots right in for the takedown, gets a single leg. That's his fifth successful takedown from eight attempts in this fight. Oh, damn. Tamura. And he pounds out right hands. Uh, Tamura gets pushed back and is left standing in front of Bustamante no longer in guard. Tamura tries to secure a ground position. The can't hold Bustamante down, the scramble starts, and the bell rings to bring this fight to an end. Files, who you got? Well, I'm I'm not biased. I don't have the whole thing. It's Tamura. I need Tamura too. The judges of the stage are about to be announced. All three judges to Tamura. Yes, Takaji. <laughs> Twitter by unanimous decision, Kiyoshi Tamura. You can oh. buy yourself a sandwich today. <laughs> <laughs> Takaji is getting paid. He's getting back anime money. <laughs> the point was racist being decent. Um, Tamura replies he has a lot of respect for the skills of Carlos Barejo and thinks it would be a great fight. And he wants to fight him next. Maybe we'll see that. If we remember. Maybe we will. <laughs> is he actually good or? I don't know. But I'll write that down <laughs> on this conveniently placed piece of paper I have. <laughs> Royce Gracie. Renzo Gracie. Oh, this is a new screen. I'm seeing double. Four Gracies. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Gracie 1 climax is starting, which coincidentally has four Gracies. Do you think uh, the other two Gracies are the corner men in each match? No, I just think Helio Gracie is sitting there on like an umpire's chair <laughs> all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like profanities. <laughs> um... We have the big opening ceremony, of course, after the prelims end. They all come out. The big gong gets banged. There's, like, pyro going off everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, the ring is, like, the room is, the arena is just full of smoke by the time the show actually starts. <laughs> you can barely see what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and here, Gracie's there, and he's ready to watch three of his um, <laughs> descendants die, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great story in the, the Pride book um, where Don Fry is, like, Don Fry was saying he was fighting one of the Gracies and um, he basically had them in a chokehold mm -hmm. and Helio was at ringside and uh, Don was waiting for him to throw in the towel and then like he's remember, he just says he remembers taking you son of a bitch you let one of your son die for your jiu jitsu wouldn't you oh, oh yeah I've heard that quote yeah. oh my god <laughs> well, like, that, well that was four of them <laughs> That's why he's the best. <laughs> and here are two um, of probably the most evenly matched, I think, fight in this tournament. Starting off, mm -hmm. Hoist and Henzo, same age, only ten pounds in the difference. Uh, probably about evenly scaled as well. Hoist Gracie, of course, he has uh, a lot of experience in tournaments. Mm -hmm. He won the first ever UFC, and I think the second one too. Uh, I think he won the first two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Henzo. Has is two and one in Pride, I think. He, and Henzo has. <laughs> yeah, he beat Yoji Adyo on the first show. Mm -hmm. He lost to Hicks and Gracie in a title fight at Pride 2, Gracie Warfare. And he beat Pat Militich at Pride 4, Stormy Weather. Ooh. What was fight it, was it was very stormy. Ooh. Uh, we have a big <laughs> portion of the show with Roy Hoist Gracie taking on Henzo. And a spot in the finals of the Gracie 1 climax is up for grabs. Mm -hmm. uh, Sukihara, the referee Shiokawa, Sakade, and Takaji <laughs> Oh judge. my god God, he's just all night he, he is really trying to fix those finances is. He really is um, But he never will <laughs> uh, There's the opening bell mm -hmm. Henzo lands a left jab His big right follow-up misses uh, Hoist clearly respects his opponent's striking He's very wary about shooting and getting caught in the way in 
Oh, Very interesting. His cousin's brother? His, his relation. <laughs> <laughs> they're both turkeys, so I don't think they're brothers. I mean, yeah. maybe they are full. They maybe could... they're twins and no one ever knew until now. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Heads of Gracie and Hoist Gracie are twins. Um, <laughs> they don't look like they came from the same parents at all, but look. <laughs> I mean, they look so similar. Could you tell them apart? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, heads up can't connect with his self strikes and it scores at a right cross which lands hard and he moves Ooh. in closer quick punch it doesn't land heads is going for a punching game goes away with a jab and hits a crunching straight right to the jaw hoist goes down Whoosh. and Henzo pounces on him finishing him off looking to finish him off with raining down punches he holds up massive right hands oh my god Hoist is getting destroyed and the referee steps in to stop it whoa Henzo Gracie TKO in 134 of the first round of the Gracie World Climax. Holy crap, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what a victory. <laughs> Who I thought that it... His own brother. <laughs> Brotherly love here <laughs> in the Tokyo <laughs> Dome. Um, who would have thought that a single fight in the Gracie World Climax would end by TKO? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> first round TKO. I mean, it's a good strategy, though. We don't have an injury. We're in submission fighters, so it's true. go to the... Go yeah. to their weakness. Um, Which is also your weakness, ironically. <laughs> yeah, so uh, no interview with Henzo, of course, because he has to come back out later tonight. Uh, we'll hear from him then. Uh, but now Hicks and Gracie taking on Hoyler Gracie. Both men unbeaten. But the, the I've got the real question for you. Mm-hmm. Who who will win? Gracie Jiu-Jitsu or Gracie Jiu-Jitsu with a hyphen? Ah, also you see, there's the Brazilian Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy and the San Diego Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Oh... Big rivalry. It's deep-seated rivalry, this one. <laughs> and of course, little known fact, they're twins as well. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years apart. <laughs> they were separated at birth. <laughs> um, I mean, can you tell them apart? No. Um, <laughs> the finals of the Gracie One Climax and Henzo Gracie's um, Fists of Steel await the winner. <laughs> And uh, Tsukuhara back in the middle for this one. And uh, Nona, Shiokawa, and Tsukade, they finally managed to uh, um, rest uh, Tsukaji from his seat. He, 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 took, he took his money and he's at the, he's at the uh, pay window. He's at the, right now. He's at the pay window. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a big size difference. Hickson is probably at least 35 pounds heavier. Wait, wait a minute, was, was Renzo the, the uh, Pride champion or was it? Hickson. Hickson's the Pride champion. Oh, Hick- yeah. Hickson's the champion. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I could just wonder it was Renzo or Royce, or no. one of them. God, there's so many. Why did they all start with R? It's the tradition. It's so, con- it's so confusing. <laughs> I think. Um, do you know why Eve, um, Eve Torres is married to one of the Gracies? Is she? Yeah. Um, oh. I think her son has the same thing, an or sounding name that not pronounced with an or. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I think it's just a thing they do. <laughs> Um, they're so. just like they're the Kardashians of MMA. Yeah, although um, Hickson's son isn't isn't that he's a uh, Cron. Oh, he's making his UFC debut next month. Is he? Oh, yeah. cool. Um, a rebel begins. Hickson shoots in for a takedown straight away. <laughs> what I was expecting. Hoyler's <laughs> uh, on his back, pulling half guard. Hickson keeps Hoyler guessing with a few quick strikes. He attempts to pass half guard. Can't do it. Uh, Hickson begins trying to get his leg free of the half guard. Hoyler tries to counter, and they find themselves scrambling. Hickson, Hickson now ends up in half guard again. Ooh. And tries to pass half guard, but can't do it. <laughs> few, port, few punches. A uh, few more punches. A few more punches. A few more punches. <laughs> more punches. And Tsukahara stands them up after like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hickson's trip, I give for the takedown, oh, and he gets it. <laughs> into side control this time, though. So, you know, that's that's an advantage. Um, he goes to the Kimura from side control, Kimura. and Hoyer stops him from applying it. Hickson throws a couple punches to the body, a few more to the body, a few more punches, more punches, more punches, more punches, and the referee starts up. Yeah. This is like the opposite of the first match. <laughs> he is. Hickson goes for a takedown again. Oh. And he gets it. Hoyer pulls half guard. Hoyler was yet to stop a single takedown. Uh, Hicks in a few punches. Begins to try to get side control. And he almost gets it, but Hoyler is able to scramble. 
And Hoiteras is back taken. Oh, Gix still plays a oh. very tight body triangle as he slowly moves towards the finish. Oh, that was a We're big right. See it. Where's the final minute of the round? A few more right hands. More right hands. Hickson keeps the body triangle tight. Goes through a naked choke. And, and he gets it. it! He gets it! The oh no! The round dance Wait. before steps. Oh. The round <laughs> ends! Oh! Oh my god. And you think the cat timekeeper pay off? <laughs> god damn to Kaji. He's no, he, he can't afford a watch, that's the problem. <laughs> With his poor finances. And uh, here we go, round two. Hickson comes in for the takedown. Hoyter almost stops the takedown, but he's left hopping on one leg while Hickson holds the other. So he's, uh, he's making progress. Uh, Hickson pushes Hoyter against the ropes. Oh. Hoyter backed against the ropes, can't really do much thanks to control the Hickson's exertion. Uh, some short punches are all that happen for the next 60 seconds. Uh, Hoyer is smothered up against the ropes. They exchange punches for a minute. And uh, Sukahara brings it back to the center. There's a takedown attempt from Hickson. Hickson gets hold of a leg, but Hoyer remains standing, hopping the other foot. Hickson uses the position to drive oh. Hoyer up against the ropes. And he smothers him against the ropes. They remain in that position, dirty boxing each other for a minute. We're into the final minute of the round, and Hicks attempts a trip, and he gets it. And gets like back. Oh, you're back. Nice. <laughs> I thought. Did we're... You know yeah, I did. I thought we were gonna have to stop after the fight for a minute. <laughs> it got really scary. It did. <laughs> oh, that was a scary couple of minutes. <laughs> um, Not as scary as the greasy one climax on the on oh, people. Oh, it's professional. Uh, Hicks and Fires also writes. Fire is trouble by them, and a few more writes. There are any significant blows. So, of course, by the order of the bathroom for most of that round, but uh. Oh, oh yeah, I, I actually had to uh, go and pee to Kaji. <laughs> oh, why are you doing that? Uh. uh turns out it's. Uh, legally, I can't say. Okay. The weird Yakuza modeling scheme. No one said anything about that. <laughs> that was a joke because it's so ridiculous oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um, these men are one of these men will go to the final of the Gracie Wing climax they have a pretty much fresh heads of Gracie waiting for them um, he's gonna absolutely annihilate him isn't he probably uh, our last round round three for those keeping count uh, begins that's the third round mm. Hickson shoots in <laughs> looking for a takedown and Hoyer can't stop it. Uh, he did actually manage oh, it's to... big dog. The big dog. The big dog. He's getting ready for his fight tonight with uh, Takata. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I believe when you were at the bathroom, um, <laughs> Hoyer, uh, Hoyer was actually able to stop two of the takedowns. Oh. Mm. I know he was making progress. I was going to say, Hickson's my boy currently at the moment, but that changes everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hickson tries to pass the guard. Hoyer avoids the attempt off. They end up scrambling. Uh, the scramble ends with Hickson grabbing Hoyler and shoving him against the ropes. He did it! Oh, he did it again. I can't believe it. Hickson leans all of his weight against the ropes. <laughs> and the next minute becomes a stalemate. Oh, man. Hickson tries to sweep the leg. And he gets a superb outside leg trip and takes the back from the takedown. Oh. Can't manage to get his hooks in. Oh. Uh, but he blocks Hoyler as he tries to roll and he gets the hooks in then. And he goes to the rear naked. Hoyer was allowed to be applied, and he Hoyer tries to break the hooks, but he can't. And Hickson goes for the rear naked choke again, and he gets it this time, flattening out Hoyler, oh. and Hoyler is forced to tap out. A slow, grinding fight from Hickson Gracie. Not the best idea for a tournament, but um, look, he's going to the King of Pride title fight. Thank God he doesn't have another match coming. <laughs> he's going to the King of Pride, Pride title fight later tonight to defend his title against Henzo. No. And, uh, that would have been quite something, actually, if he didn't win, eh? Yeah, would have been guaranteed a new champion. Oh, that, that would have been much more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I think it's counted as a new raid because you can't put the belt on the line when someone has it, but look, it's fine. <laughs> it can be like one of those, uh, some companies do that sometimes, where they, they vacate the title. It's true. For a big tournament. It's like the Young Lions Cup. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what I was thinking, eh? <laughs> So, uh, like someone does 
And we go to the next round, Miles. The most uh -huh. exciting young Pride star, Kazushi Sakuraba, back again. Take on Carlos Newton. Oh, he's back at it again. With the orange pads. <laughs> Um, Back at it again at Christmas with cream. Sakuraba probably has some kind of wacky entrance tonight. <laughs> probably. He probably comes out with a lucha mask on of some kind. Oh, he's so wacky. He's so wacky. He might have his hair dyed orange again. Who knows? Oh, God. I forgot he did that. <laughs> on a dare. <laughs> really? On a dare? Yeah. <laughs> he was doing media before his fight with Heist Gracie, and like, the radio host was just like, go dye your hair orange. He was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> And then That's he came great. he came out under a mask with Takada and um someone else. They didn't unmask until the ring announced his name. So they didn't know which one was him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh Superman. Mind games. Indeed. He probably did it again tonight. Uh Sukahara is the official for the fight. And Takaji's back after of course uh, last oh. time he was at the pay window. <laughs> uh, and, uh and Shikawa joined him. <laughs> Oh man. And there is the opening bell. Uh, Newton doesn't touch gloves, drawing heat from the crowd. Oh, he's working heel. Mm. The master of Dragon Ball Jiu Jitsu, of course. Um, Sakuraba moves <laughs> into the clinch. And Sakuraba works the underhooks in from clinch and looks for a takedown, but he can't get it. And Newton rests his way into a dominant position. Newton now looks for a takedown with a leg sweep, but Sakuraba maintains a good solid base. Newton goes for a trip again, and he sweeps the legs, saying Sakuraba's the mat in a beautiful move, and in one fluid motion gets side control. Newton nails some elbows, but they don't do much damage. Sakuraba struggles his way into half guard, or full, full guard, excuse me. Uh, Newton oh. throws a few small strikes to Sakuraba, keeping close body to body contact so there's no space. And Sakuraba tries to grab an arm while they're chest to chest. Oh. And he gets it, applying an arm bar, and as soon as the arm is pulled straight, Newton taps out. Oh my god! And the IQ wrestler <laughs> picks up another submission victory. God. That is four for four submission victories for Sakurama. That's amazing. Um, Sakurama said he is very happy with his submission technique. He gave a very charismatic performance. <laughs> this, this young man is going somewhere, you have to assume. God. That somewhere Wait. is the bank. Like, yeah, <laughs> Sakuraba, every time we see him, he does like some crazy new submission. He really does. I think, has he finished all his fights with a different submission so far? Uh, I think so, because he I... did. I remember him doing the alligator thing. Yeah, he did the alligator show, and he did the. I can't remember what else he'd done. He guillotined Tom Erickson, I think. Oh, he did the bulldog on Tom Erickson. I can't remember. Oh, boy. Oh, well. We'll find out later. But next up, Miles. Two of the best Russian boys. The Graps Daddy himself, Volkan, taking on the Russian bear, Oleg Taktarov. Ooh. Miles, you have a lot of personal interest in this fight. I... I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the battle for which one will be my new fave. And uh, Shimada's the referee, Fukumitsu, Noda, and Shikawa are the judges. Takaji couldn't bear to watch these two fight. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite emotional for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad you're here as a friend to support me in this trying time. I'm always here, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fight begins. Uh, Volkan steps in, works his way to a dominant position in a clinch. And Volkan goes straight for a takedown from the clinch, and he successfully gets it. Tactron is forced to pull half guard. Uh, Volkan looks works his way to side control. They find themselves scrambling for position. Um, Taktarov goes to scramble, he needs a leg in, Volkan quickly tries to grab it, but Taktarov is able to pull his leg free, coming out on top, with Volkan pulling half guard. That was a big error from Volkan, going for the leg has ended up handing the advantage to his opponent. Oh no, that's bad. Rare mistake from the grab daddy. Uh, Taktarov pounds away at right hand, doesn't deal much damage. Uh, using an underhook to set it up, Volkan looks to scramble. But he may regret that choice, as Taktarov is able to get side control. And Taktarov throws a few small strikes. He's not really sure what to do once he has it, I don't think. Uh, Volkan going for a transition to a guard, but can't manage it. Taktarov fires off some punches, each blocked. Uh, Volkan tries to transition, but can't manage it. A few more weak punches. Guard attempt. Fails. Strikes. Block the guard. Taktarov goes for a mount. 
and he cannot mount him. Oh. Okay, and goes for guard, but Cat manages it. A few more punches, and the referee stands them up. Oh. Uh, Volcano was in and clinches. With control of the clinch, Volcano tries to complete a takedown, but he can't get it. Taktrov mm -hmm. has very good takedown defense, it looks like. Uh, he goes for mm -hmm. it again, and this time he manages it. <laughs> uh, he instantly proves me wrong. Um, Taktrov pulls guard. Uh, Volcano tries to pass the guard, but he can't find a way past it. Uh, Taktrov seems to be looking for a sweep variation. Reaching for a leg. Volkan defends it. Uh, Volkan tries to swap, tries to pass guard again. And he passes guard, but Taktrov is ready and he scrambles again. Volkan somehow comes out on top of Taktrov in the north south position. Oh. He throws a few strikes to the ribs without much venom. He loses control for a second and Taktrov is able to scramble. Uh, Volkan leaves the leg in and Taktrov tries to grab it. But he ends up having to pull half guard. He's not able to secure the leg. Mm -hmm. And uh, Taktrov making an almost mirror image of uh, Vulcan's earlier mistake had mm -hmm. the advantage to Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan keeps Taktrov guessing with a few quick strikes. Taktrov tries to sweep, but doesn't get anywhere. Uh, Vulcan pounds away at right hands, without much damage. Uh, Taktrov gets his underhook in and tries to scramble for position. And uh, Vulcan gets a slight control right as the bell rings to end round one. A lot of ground work mm -hmm. tonight. As is to be expected on a night dedicated to the Gracies. <laughs> uh, keep in mind too, every time the referee gets involved, Helio Gracie is probably very angry at sight. <laughs> he does not like I, that. I like the picture, he's very angry at all times, to be fair. Yeah. He's also like carrying a towel around. <laughs> We're teasing the spot. <laughs> for later tonight. Uh, Tektor shoots in looking for a takedown. And uh, the takedown's not successful, Volcan sprawls it, pushes Taktrov down to his hands and knees, tries oh. to drive his knee into his head, but Taktrov's able to scoop backward quickly and stand up. The two fighters come together in a clinch and start wrestling. Volcan wrestles his way to a dominant position in the clinch. He attempts to wrestle Taktrov down to the ground, and Taktrov is on his back pulling guard. A few right hands from Volcan. Volcan gets pushed back out of the guard, left standing above Taktrov. Uh, from his back, Taktorov watches as Volkan comes in looking to get a dominant ground position. Taktorov is too quick, slipping away, starting to scramble. And uh, the scramble results with Volkan Turtle with Taktorov on his back. I'm not sure that happened. <laughs> Taktorov okay. loses some right hands. Uh, Volkan quickly gets back to his feet from underneath Taktorov. <laughs> but Taktorov gets back control. Um, he tries to drag him down from behind. And he gets it. Volkan tried to fight it off, but the battle he wasn't going to win. But Taktrov loses his grip, and Volkan is quick to try and scramble. And the scramble ends with them both standing. <laughs> Volkan tries to get into a clinch, looks for a trip, but Taktrov stops it and takes control of the grapple. Uh, Taktrov tries a judo throw, and he gets it. Oh. Oh. Showing Volkan to the mat. Uh, and into guard then, and Taktrov tries to pass guard, but Volkan allows it, but it's a ploy to allow him to try and scramble. And he's now left mm -hmm. turtled up with Taktrov behind him. A few punches from Taktrov without much power. A few more right hands without little damage. Some big rights from Taktrov to end the round, but Volkan covers up well. And that'll be the end of round two. Mm -hmm. Very evenly matched. Yeah. I don't know who's going to win. Mm -hmm. Taktrov getting that spectacular judo throw. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Some... We'll see. He does get bonus points for being cool. <laughs> I think Volcan just gets bonus points for being Volcan, though. <laughs> oh, that is true. He does get bonus points for being Volcan. <laughs> the Volcan <laughs> principle, as it's known. Um, there's the bell, and the final round begins. Seeing his opponent about to shoot in, Volcan times it well and starts a clinch. And he takes control of the clinch and looks for a trip, but Attack Prop blocks the trip, wrestles his way into control, and goes for another judo throw. But Volcan's able to defend it against it this time. Mm. And he goes for another one. And he gets it this time, with Volkan kind of off balance with the first one, and Tetra is able to work into side control. Uh, he throws a few right hands to plan ahead. Volkan tries to pull guard, but doesn't manage it. And as he tries to pull guard, Tetra grabs a leg, going for a knee bar, but Volkan's able to um, squeeze his leg out from Tetra's grip. Uh, Volkan tries to move to guard, Tetra blocks it, and uh, goes for an arm bar this time by Tetra, uh, but then Volkan cool. is able to keep his arm in place. <laughs> Uh, Volkan tries to pull guard and Taktrov but doesn't get anywhere with the attempt. Taktrov now going for a knee bar. Oh. Volkan blocks it. 
Oh. Hector <laughs> blocks his helpful guard. We missed the final 60 seconds of their fight. And the referee stands them back up. Volcano's kind of starting to breathe a little heavier. Mm-hmm. And so is Tactorov. <laughs> uh, Tactorov goes for a takedown. He can't get past the sprawl that's pushed onto his hands and knees. Tact- Volcan lands a few blows. Hands a few more. And Tactorov goes back to his feet. And that ends the round. There we mm-hmm. go, Miles. Who would you got? A draw. I'm going to so. be controversial and say it. I think that's just giving the official decisions. All three judges to Taktorov. Unanimous decision. Oh. For the Russian bear. Uh, they both managed three out of six. was that judo through, man? It was cool. <laughs> they both managed three out of six takedowns. Um, I guess Taktorov was making more of an attempt. Look at his ground strikes. Yeah. Man. And he was also making more of an attempt to uh, actually end the fight. Mm, so that'll be yeah. what pushed him over. That'll do it, yeah. The anonymous decision for Taktorov. Big win for the Russian bear. Mm-hmm. And he gives a show of respect to Volkan, because he has to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but next up, Wild, it's super fight time. Oh, yes, shoot Rocky. <laughs> shoot Rocky, Roy Salinger is back. Cue the music. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. 200%, Yoji Anyo, also back. <laughs> Da, 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 we need some kind of meme boy championship. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> um, uh, Roy Salger went back to Kentucky. He punched a chicken corpse for a while. He is ready. <laughs> he is so ready. <laughs> Yoji Anyo has been grappling with Takata. So, you know, ultimate mm-hmm. underdog as well. Mm-hmm. He's absorbed his powers. <laughs> Uh, Shimada will be the referee, and referee and judging we have Shiokawa, Tsukade, and Mr. Our poor finances, Takaji's back. Even Takaji can't miss this fight, Miles. Who can blame him? Anyo gets a good reaction from the fans, he enters the arena, he's fighting in front of a home crowd tonight. <laughs> it's just like Rocky IV. <laughs> it's so much like Rocky, that's what's so amazing about it. <laughs> we are underway. They touch gloves. Uh, they exchange a few strikes, without any significant strikes landing. And he'll keep slightly out of range, looking for a chance to dart in for a grapple. Alger fails to find a home for his jab, but then catches Anya with a right hook. Uh, Alger forces an exchange of strikes as he closes distance. And he manages to hit a jab. Fair play to him. Uh, mm-hmm. Alger lands with a left hand, and then he scores with a right cross which lands hard. And they come, Alger comes back forward and they exchange strikes. And he throws a counter jab which misses. Uh, Alger fails to land with a 1-2. The exchange of blows comes and goes without either fighter really landing anything significant. Algar forces an exchange again. Anyo fires off a counter jab that doesn't connect. Algar lands a left hand and scores a right cross. They both begin to engage. Algar tries a right hand but it gets absorbed in his opponent's gloves. Anyo is off target with a left jab and also has a right hand taking on the blows. Uh, Algar comes forward. Algar avoids a jab, moves into pocket. Algar uses a left jab and misses with a vicious right. Algar is giving the first hint that he's starting to tire a touch. Mm-hmm. He didn't run up and down those steps enough. <laughs> In St. Louis, he didn't punch enough chickens. In St. Louis, the Kentucky. Um, the two fighters stand and trade strikes. Algar comes forward, walking down Anyo. Anyo manages a counter jab. Algar can connect with a set of strikes, but lands the right hand. Algar comes forward to force a strike exchange. Steps into pocket. Which was two big punches to land. They exchange strikes without landing any significance. Algar comes forward and the two fighters exchange strikes. Anyo fires off a counter jab that doesn't connect. The jab lands from Algar, but he finds nothing but air with a big right. The two fighters stand and trade strikes, but neither lands anything damaging. Algar is starting to have to push himself now, and his corner responds by ur- urging him on a little louder, including Miles. <laughs> You're urging him on. Come um, on, Algar. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm neutral. Anyo dodges a right hand and counterattacks with a right hook. Seeing that Algar looks shattered, Anyo easily pulls him into a clinch. Ooh. Algar uses dirty boxing and gets a few clin- uh, crisp punches on Anyo as they grapple. Algar looks for a slam! His signature maneuver! And he gets Ooh. it! Oh. Algar ends up in half guard. He fires off a handful of punches. Anyo works some separation, tries to scramble, but Algar is too quick and grabs side control. Algar is breathing very hard. He throws a few right hands. Anyo tries to sweep but doesn't budge Al- Algar. Algar going for the armbar! But Anyo fights it off. 
I need to Come on, to sweep Alger, but he can't do it. Alger fires off some more punches, Alger blocks the sweep. Uh, Alger hit a few more punches, blocks the sweep, and the referee stands them up. And they start to strike as the round ends, Alger hitting a left hand and a left hook. And that's going to be uh, Royce Alger's round, I imagine. I mean, that slam. Bro. That slam, he got punches. <laughs> or oh. the metrics. Let's look at the numbers. <laughs> bro, bro, look at look at, look at at those numbers. This 10 is a larger number than 4. It's true, at 15, also bigger than 0. Oh. <laughs> You're very surprised by that. <laughs> I, I, I I wasn't good at maths. <laughs> that's why. That's, you, why, that's why I was a scientist. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that's why you're an MMA commentator now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bell for the start of the round, which uh, means the round is starting. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Both fighters beat in the center. Anya misses a right hook and gets countered with a left jab and a good right hook from Alger. They meet in the center, start to strike. Alger counters a right hand with a jab and a right hook. Seeing that Alger looks hard, Anya pulls him into a clinch. Alger tries to throw some close range uh, strikes, but the attempts are smothered by Anyo. Alger tries to wrestle Anyo back who gets the ropes, and he gets oh. it! Yeah. Anyo is pinned to the ropes! Anyo uses the his wrestling pride skills. Special. The pride special. No one survives it. <laughs> Anyo uses his wrestling skills to prevent Alger from attacking with dirty boxing. Uh, Alger tries, and tries to throw a knee strike, but Anyo is able to create some space and break free. Anyo is also starting to slow a little. Uh, they engage with strikes but not significant lands. They pass we pass the halfway mark of round one. Round two I mean. Uh quick change of strikes does not produce any damage. They engage. Algar dodges a right hand and counterattacks with a left jab and a right hook that is ducked. Algar should be fighting against exhaustion. Uh they both move in and engage. And oh, they just get married already. <laughs> oh, they have to this is a weird thing. <laughs> On New Year's Eve, you have to get, get engaged. Get, you have to ten, get times. ten times. <laughs> um, it's just like a leap here. Um, <laughs> Anyo hits a left jab with Mr. Right Hook. Alger scores with a left hook. Uh, they both look shattered. And they fall into a clinch. Shades oh, of um, Shades of Katao versus the Airbrook. <laughs> Alger tries to muscle Anyo up against the ropes. Alger Does he does get it. it. He gets it. Anyo is stuck with his back to the ropes. Yay. Alger smothers Anyo against the ropes. <laughs> And scores yeah, the yeah. left to side of the stomach. <laughs> we have one minute of the round remaining. Alger goes for this football. This is what MMA is all about. <laughs> Anyo works enough space so he can slip out and away. Anyo is slowing. Uh, he forces an exchange of strikes. Alger fires off a counter jab that doesn't connect. Uh, Anyo, Anyo throws a two punch combo that Alger avoids. They come together in a strike, but it's really tentative. Nothing comes up. And that is the end of round two. <laughs> no booing, surprisingly. Crowd are in awe at these absolute specimens. They, they, they are in awe at these two titans of <laughs> MMA colliding. Um, they come together and trade leather. <laughs> but neither part of me doesn't. Why are they swapping belts? I don't know. Why are they wearing belts? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's early MMA. We don't have like rules on outfits yet. <laughs> it's true. Um, looking sharp, they all but collapse to each other and clinch. <laughs> I, just... I feel like. I feel like there's going to be a ropes coming. Anyo gets caught with a couple of nice sharp punches as Algar uses his dirty boxing. And Algo tries to muscle oh, him against yeah, the ropes. I called it! And he gets it! Anyo's back yes. against the ropes. Anyo looks really tired. <laughs> 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 Algar attempts to hit Anyo to the tire area, but Anyo tightens the clinch. The gas tank looks almost empty at Algar. Algar attempts a knee, but Anyo just tightens the clinch. Anyo takes a knee strike to the inside of his own knee. Uh, Anyo waits for Algar to try and throw a knee, and quickly turns him, creating enough space to escape from the ropes. Oh! Anyo steps forward, looking to strike. No one's uh, ever escaped from the ropes before. <laughs> Algar scores with two counter jabs. Anyo throws a 1-2, but Algar is equal to it. We're now at the half the point in the round. Duke of Battle 3 in the center starts to strike. Algar is off target with the left jab, but hits a right cross. Anyo loses the left jab, misses a right hand. He fires, fall into a racket clinch. Algar hits Anyo with some short strikes to the side of the head while grappling. Algar tries to wrestle Anyo backward and up against the ropes. Algar achieves it, pinning Anyo to the ropes. Uh, Algar smothers Anyo against the ropes. God. Uh, hits him with a knee strike to the ribs. Uh, Anyo uses his wrestling skills to prevent dirty boxing. Um, Anyo is trapped against the ropes and Algar hits a short left uppercut, but he's too oh. tired to make any of it. 
<laughs> uh, Elgar catches Anya when a knee strikes the thigh. Elgar goes for a foot stomp, but Anya works enough space so he can pull clear and circle out. Elgar glances at the clock. Oh, of course, what I, time is it? I believe it's been established that um, the Tokyo Dome has a big clock, like at Highbury. Um, yeah, yeah, it yeah, does, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, well, I'll have you know that it's hammer time. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a current <laughs> reference for 1997. Very modern reference. Good job. Was that was that was that in 1997? Probably. I don't Pro- know. <laughs> probably around then. We we got if not we got the pre-release. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the three years out of date release. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it just debuted here in Japan, and that's why it's really, really timely reference. <laughs> they come together and strike, neither fires any damage, and it looks like Anio is out of energy too. And so for the last five seconds, they both just stand up, their hands on their hips, <laughs> staring at each other. <laughs> uh, the fight comes to oh. an end, but the time limit expires. What a fight! <laughs> Who's, who, who is your money on, and why is I, it Shoot Rocky? <laughs> I think Anio actually has it. Really? Yeah. I don't think Shoot Rocky's got it. Either way, one of these men is coming away with their first ever MMA victory. This is this is like Rocky Two when he beats uh, uh, Apollo Creed. <laughs> of course, uh, I'll just catch everyone back up with this. Um, Yoji Anyo is the reason Pride exists. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. In a way, uh, the judges are good in their oh. decisions, and all three judges of Algar is the winner. Yeah, uh, unanimous decision for Shoot Rocky Royce Algar, his first ever Pride victory. And I'm sure it was they're decent, re- apparently. Apparently decent. <laughs> Um, yeah, Algar got the wood take down of the fight. Oh my god, look at look at those a lot punches. Of punches. Yeah, that's fair. And he got he got those knees. He was controlling it against the ropes a lot too. We we need to have a secondary like meme boy tail. Yeah, I think we do. Um, it will come uh, soon. Like, maybe maybe it could be like you know we have the king of uh, pride. Yeah, maybe the heart of pride. Oh, that's actually I like that. And then we rig it so your Chandra wins. <laughs> it's like the um, it's like for all the pride guys who aren't good at fighting but are still really popular. Yeah, they've got yeah, like they've it. got the heart. They've hmm. got the fighting spirit. Spirit of pride, you could also call it. Oh, that works too. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll figure this out later. <laughs> oh, we create two, oh. and then unify them. A big <laughs> show, like ten years down the line. <laughs> Either way, um, I think Royce Alger is gonna have another mean boy fight coming up. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Arbro. Oh, I was thinking who, Yarbrough. Who did, of course, recently come out in support of a controversial online movement. <laughs> That's true, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, Emmanuel Yarbrough is now an incel. Um, we, mean... we don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Uh, Royce Alger, or Royce Alger, praises Daniel for his skill and toughness. Okay, so so who is the clubber Lang of our universe? Is it is it Emmanuel Yarbrough? I think so. <laughs> okay, we need to get. Oh my god, are you ready for when he's gonna fight Volcan? <laughs> oh my god, or Taktorov? Or Taktorov? Taktorov looks more like Drago, but I yeah. think Volcan would be funnier. Well, if next um we have Frank Shamrock, um, who is training at a new ca- uh, camp, I think. Ooh. He used to be at the Lions then, didn't he? Who's the Alliance? Oh, it's his new gym that just opened. Oh, good for him. Hmm? Morris Smith. I'm glad he's founded a gym to celebrate the Alliance in Alcomania. <laughs> he got that two years out of him behind as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Frank Sharma. Don't, don't be... yell at the NWO. He doesn't know yet. He's going to get really upset. <laughs> he really will. Uh, Dark Age is probably happening around this time. <laughs> um, another match is about to begin. Frank Shamrock taking on the debuting Ricardo the Mutant Maurice, uh, who is another Gracie Jiu Jitsu boy. Uh, Shimada the it's Reverend. like half our company, Gracie Jiu Jitsu boys. Pretty much. Um, Fukumitsu, uh, Noda, and Shiokawa will be our judges. And the size difference is clear for all to see. Maurice is a good 80 pounds heavier than his opponent. Giving him a big advantage. Ooh. And the fight begins. They engage. Morris misses a right cross that leaves him wide open to a counter, and Shamrock manages to hit a left jab and right hand. They engage in the center. Uh, Morris connects with a left hand, and Shamrock misses with a left jab but lands a right hook. They stand and trade in the center of the ring, but neither fighter gives or takes any damage. And his change of strikes happens right in the center of the ring, but nothing comes of it. 
Uh, Shamrock lands two jabs and then catches Maurice with a right roundhouse kick to the body. Uh, moving forward constantly, Shamrock is pressuring Maurice. Uh, he steps into the pocket, avoiding a jab. Shamrock uses a left jab but misses a vicious right hand, but continues stalking forward, pressuring Maurice. Uh, Maurice hits a jab in the exchange. Shamrock can't connect to the jab, then he hits Maurice with a straight right. Uh, Maurice appears to be going to try and get in close, but Shamrock took the initiative first. Uh, Shamrock fails to find a home for his jab, but then hits Maurice with a straight right. The two fighters engage with strikes, but nothing significant lands. Uh, Shamrock stalks forward, pressuring Maurice. Shamrock moves inside into the uh, pocket, looking to pressure Maurice. A jab hits home from Shamrock, and then he hits a spin kick to the ribs. Oh, crap. Shades of Edson Barboza. Uh, Maurice chooses to shoot in on Shamrock. And mm-hmm. Shamrock can't stop the takedown. And he only Ooh. catches Maurice in half guard. Uh, Maurice starts trying to work to get out of half guard into a better position. Shamrock is there for the pass and starts scrambling. As Maurice goes to scramble, he leaves a leg in. And Shamrock tries to grab it. But he's only able to get the leg and winds up pulling guard. Hmm. Tactical mistake from Shamrock. He should have uh, learned from Volcano earlier tonight. Mm. And Tactorov. <laughs> Both did the same thing. Uh, Maurice fires off a few punches, and uh, Shamrock reaches for a leg, going for a sweep variation, but Maurice is able to defend it. Mm-hmm. Type slips away as Maurice successfully keeps Shamrock stuck against the ground. Maurice fires off a few punches, Shamrock attempts to secure an arm from the bottom, and he catches oh. with an arm bar from underneath, and Maurice taps out as his arm gets extended. Frank Shamrock! Oh, crap! <laughs> with an arm bar from the ground. Oh. It's 619 of round one. What does this mean? Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> booyaka, booyaka. Um, he praises Maurice for a tough fight. And he also plugs his new gym. Oh, that's nice. Well, it's... Demi- got, I was going to say, oh, we okay. actually have a serious competition for a submission of the night for once. Yeah. But um, two. The <laughs> Wild up next, making his debut from Team oh. Fry Severn, the hammer Mark Coleman. Yes. Uh, 8-0 in MMA, most recently UFC champion, whatever they have. <laughs> Is it the... Um, super fight champion or something. Super oh, no, fight? He, he wasn't the champion, actually. He was just winning all the main event. He was winning all the time. He beat, he's great. Beat Dan Severn, beat Tank Abbott, beat Pete Williams by rear naked choke. Every fight he's had in this in like oh seven yes. has been a first round rear naked choke. Of course, in UFC, they have no rounds yet, but... <laughs> Still for um, yeah, the, two of them were in like four minutes. So we'll see how long he's number one pound knows. for pound in the world. He is. This could be the man who um challenges the Gracie, be... the Gracie family. He could be the Gracie killer. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie killer Mark Coleman. I like it. Gotcha. And here we go. Kimo Leopoldo carrying across to the ring. <laughs> he's got no team, which is kind of sad. <laughs> he's for, very dedicated. To, no mates. He's too dedicated to the cross. <laughs> they all thought it was a bit weird. Um, Yuji Shimada will be refereeing. Always going to be uh, here. Johnny Hill beats Takaja, Fukumitsu, and Noda. Takaji. And there's the opening bell. Coleman's straight in for the takedown. <laughs> Holy crap. Gets a single leg, and Kimo pulls guard. Coleman pounds away with a few shots landing clean. He just get past the guard, passes to half guard, pounds away with oh, the right hands. Was... Kimo's in trouble. Coleman tries to pass the half guard. I get side control. Oh my god. <laughs> Coleman goes for the arm bar. Kimo manages to block oh. it. Goes for the arm bar again. Almighty. Kimo blocks it again. And Kimo takes a crunching knee strike to the ribs oh. from side control. And he takes another one. And another one. Oh no. Coleman punches down at Kimo. They're taking on the gloves. Uh, he just gets good few kick strikes. And Shimano stands them up. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what a flurry that was. Oh. What opening. <laughs> God, what a start to his bright career for Mark Coleman. <laughs> uh, Kimo was in closer right to attack. He throws a quick punch that doesn't land. Uh, he lands a jab, then a straight right. And it looks like Coleman's been caught under the eye. Oh, God. And Coleman shoots in for a takedown. He sees red. <laughs> oh, he's like a bull. He's a bull. Uh, the takedown's completed. Kimo pulls guard. And Coleman starts to try to work past the guard. Uh, he gets him into half guard. Coleman pounds away on Kimo, landing a few clean shots to not Manny, and he continues that process, and he attempts to pass half guard, and he gets him into side control, trigger a few rights to the body, another knee to the ribs, and then he starts trying to go into mount, Kimo rolls to the side to try and escape, but he gives up his back, 
Nakoma attempts to get the rear naked choke, and he gets it! But he took oh. too long because the round ends! Oh, no. oh Saved by the bell again! Oh, man! What a God. first round that was! What an exciting first rounds we've had on the show! I think that might be the round of the, the year. The round of the night, yeah. Round of the year, I think. Probably. This is the last light of the year. <laughs> um, I have to go back and, do, and check. So here we go. The cop man goes to work between rounds trying to patch up Coleman. He uses that weird like metal thing they like put onto the swelling. The metal uh, thing? Yeah, I don't know what that is. He's at UFC, anyway. Um, oh, wait, I think I know what you mean. Is, is, is that a heat thing? Or is it the opposite? I... It's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, round two begins anyway, regardless of what it was. Right. Something was put on Mark Coleman's face. I, I was gonna say right in to tell us what right, was put on Mark. Right Coleman's in face. to um, Pride, uh, care of Nobuhiko Takada, <laughs> um, the Tokyo Dome, Tokyo Dome Japan. City, Tokyo <laughs> Japan, <laughs> and uh, round two begins. Uh, Coleman straight in for the takedown again, but he can't complete oh. it. But he does manage to get a leg, keep hops in place, and Coleman for like the it. first time in his Pride career. <gasps> Goes against the ropes. Oh, yes. That's the rite of passage for any Pride fighter. <laughs> now he's truly one of us. Uh, showing his ability to grind down opponents. Uh, Coleman keeps Kimo pressed tightly against the ropes. And the dirty box. Uh, Coleman keeps him stuck against the ropes. Some more dirty boxing. And Coleman looks for a trip. And he gets it. And Kimo's forced to pull guard. Coleman has to get past the guard. Get side control. Vicious knee strikes the ribs again. Oh. Punches down at Kimo. They're easily taken on the gloves. Uh, Coleman blocks Kimo as he tries to transition. Coleman wants to get to mount, but he takes the back instead. And Coleman pounds away from the back mount. Oh. He was in serious trouble here, and he goes for a naked choke, oh. but Kimo oh, man, doesn't block it oh. this time. I, I thought we were going to have another save by the bell. <laughs> Coleman is looking very ragged now. And he attempts oh. to block and attempt to roll over. Pounds away with some right hands without much damage being caused, and that's the end of round two. Oh. Oh. Mark Coleman's struggling. Um, I wasn't sure. expecting this. Oh, what's happened there? Oh no! Something odd happened. Um, oh no! Game. Okay. Um, um. Give me a second. There's no cause for alarm. Um, this happens sometimes. Okay, that didn't work. Oh wait. Ah. Okay. Will it work this time? Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, this might be the first time that Mark Coleman hasn't managed to finish an opponent. <laughs> We're about to find out. Here we go, one last round. Kimo okay. moves in closer if he's opened up an attack. Kimo throws a punch, but Coleman was equal to it. And one two that Coleman was also equal to. And Coleman quickly shoots! Gets hold of a leg, but Kimo remains standing, hopping on the other foot. And he goes off against the ropes. Coleman goes for the takedown, and he gets it. Into guard, tries to pass guard, gets the side control, needs the ribs. Another needs the needs. ribs. Gets the mount, <laughs> but Kimo rolls over. He doesn't. Uh, Coleman applies the body triangle. Oh. He tries to finish him off, and he gets it! Oh, yeah. Mark Coleman, submission victory, great fight. Oh, great fight. I mean, that was a great fight. It was great. Um... Mark Coleman, truly one of the pride people now. He's pushing people against the ropes, really naked choking. He's so he's ready one of us. to join the company. Uh, he said he's already looking forward to his next fight. Oh, oh, that's nice. And now it's semi main event time, Miles. Returning to the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the ultimate underdog, the Iron Man, Nobuhiko Takada, the man who took Hicks and Gracie to his absolute limit. The man who beat that evil Finnish environmentalist, Tony Helm. God, yes. <laughs> he is back. He has a big dramatic entrance. We're going to play the Japanese national anthem and the Canadian national anthem will be performed live by Rush. <laughs> 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 I don't know how we got them, but we did. Um, <laughs> Geza, the big dog Calvin, of course, Wilds, 300 pounds, unbeaten. Yes, unbeaten. All those victories. So many victories. It's, yep. it's it's insane. We lost count. He does like he just fights in like some underground pit. 
It's hard to keep. It's hard right, to keep I always guns. assumed like he, he just fought in like an illegal fight club. Yeah, yeah. It, like it is in illegal. boiler rooms and stuff. But uh, there's also a pit in the boiler room. Oh. Yeah. It's a mix of um that Chuck Norris movie and <laughs> fight club. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, here we go. John, big John McCarthy. Oh, big John for this big match. For this big dog. <laughs> uh, Fukumitsu Noda and Shiokawa. Mm-hmm. Um, no Takaji. No Takaji. And Takada is facing a major size disadvantage. The ultimate underdog. He's such an underdog. Giving up 70 pounds here. And he gets an amazing reaction. The crowd go wild as he enters. Yeah, Takada. 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 And the fight begins. <laughs> Calvin throws two quick punches and doesn't hit one either. Takada chooses to shoot in. Oh. But he can't get fast to sprawl and he gets oh. pushed down to his hands and knees. Calvin goes for a knee strike, but he can't keep control of Takada who springs back up. A jab goes wide from Calvin, but he hits a nice straight right. Takada shoots him for a takedown. Oh. Shaking off the punch. And he gets it. Yeah. Calvin pulls guard. Uh, Takada begins working to pass the side control. He passes the half guard. Takada wants to get past the half guard and he gains side control. Um, Calvin is working hard on the ground to slow down Takada uh, Takada attempts a mount Calvin rolls over and gives up his back oh. I see he went to the um, Kiyo Leopoldo school of ground defense <laughs> um, so Calvin plays a body triangle Calvin's way on oh. right hands Calvin's having trouble the referee stops the fight Yes, Takada TKO believe... he has overcome the odds it. again in a great fight <laughs> <laughs> Nobuhiko Takada wins in the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> oh. Who saw it coming? The crowd go absolutely wild. Wild is so excited. I'm so excited, I nearly choked. He nearly choked on his um, water because he was so shocked. He swallowed the microphone. He was is the ultimate <laughs> underdog. I'm just so emotional. <laughs> um. Takada shows respect to his opponent, praises him for his skill and toughness. And he certainly benefits from getting a live microphone in front of him. Mm-hmm. And Miles, you know what time it is next. Oh, it's... it's Main the, event it's, time. It's Gracie v. Gracie. Gracie v. Gracie. Gracie will climax, king of pride championship. <laughs> I thought you said Gracie will climax. <laughs> One of these Gracies will climax. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Helio you know, watching one of his um, relatives getting choked out. Um, that's a, that's neither here or there. <laughs> of course, uh, little the fact that these two actually twins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The whole Gracie family secretly twins. <laughs> They're all twins. <laughs> um, King of Pride title on the line, of course, uh, Hicks and Gracie technically had to vacate it for this tournament uh, because of he... some strange bylaw in the Japanese law that actually had nothing to do with MMA, surprisingly. <laughs> he, he chose to vacate it because of how <laughs> honourable he is. Oh, he's so honourable. So honourable. What this man. Final of the Gracie one climax. You get the big oh. entrances. Um, Who's your money on? They book at hand in a... Um, Bouquet of Roses by Antonio Inoki who's here for some reason. <laughs> and, uh, oh god, I'm glad he's here. Glad he's here to witness this. My money is on Hickson, I think. He's been unbeaten in Pride so far. And he's already beaten Henzo, actually. This is a rematch from Pride 2. I hope uh, Inoki has his uh, was it, IW19 title. Is it IW19? Um, oh, I can't remember. He, yeah, something like that. I'll look it up. Or his World Martial Arts Championship from like the 80s. Oh, the WWF one. Yeah. The one he fought um, Willem Ruska for. <laughs> he's also in attendance tonight. And he's also <laughs> one of the IW19. Yeah. If it is IW19. It is. in attendance tonight. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. That's, the, that's, an ice, that's a title on Ice Ribbon. The women's promotion. Oh, well, that was close. Oh, wait. I think I've got remembered what it was because it's like the greatest 18, I think. Yeah, there you go. Greatest. Is it 13? 18. Might be 18. I thought it was 18. Uh, I think it was 18, sure. yeah. Um, Big John McCarty refereeing the main event. And guess who's the judge in Miles? Takaji, Fukumitsu, and. Oh. Oh. 
Penzo facing yeah. a major size disadvantage, giving up 20 pounds. Well, here it is. Round one begins. They touch gloves. A respectful. Brotherly love. Mixon straight in for the takedown. <laughs> and he gets it. He gets side control. Going for the arm bar. Oh, able oh, to block God. it. Henzo tries to move to guard, but Rickson doesn't allow it. Hickson fires off some rights. Henzo is controlled by them. Henzo tries to resist the guard, but can't do it. Some big rights from Hickson. Henzo's able to cover up well. Uh, Henzo tries to move to guard. Gets blocked. Hickson catching his breath now in side control. And they repeat the pattern repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> and John McCarthy stands them up. Oh. Your Gracie, not happy at that one. He should have. Push them into um, the ropes. Hicks is tired out from that, breathing a little heavier. Oh. This might be the first the time we've seen that. going to win just by being fresher. Yeah. Henzo gets close enough to clinch. Uh, he looks to sweep a leg in order to execute a sharp trip. But he can't manage it. Hickson's able to wrestle him into a dominant position. Uh, Hickson tries to use a trip take down. But Hickson can't get Henzo down. Oh. Hickson tries to wrestle <gasps> backwards against the ropes. Truly, Truly, is, <laughs> Truly is the king of pride. Oh, he did it. <laughs> He did it, and Hickson goes for a trip, and he gets it this time, an outside leg trip, throwing Henzo to the mat, and Hickson's able to dive into side control. Uh, he tries to pound on Henzo, but no degree of power behind the punches. Uh, Henzo tries to resist to a guard, but can't manage it. Hickson throws a few right hands to the body. Hickson blocks an attempt to pull guard. Uh, a few more weaselly punches from Hickson. Henzo tries to pull guard, but can't. Weaselly punches, tries to transition, but can't. Hickson tries to go to side control, and defends himself scrambling for a position. And Hickson is turtled up with Henzo on his back. Henzo fires there at the punt with these um, stone fists. <laughs> Hickson deals with them fairly well. Uh, some more right hands. Henzo's too slow to stop Hickson from scrambling. And the scramble is Hickson back on his back, pulling half guard. Henzo pounds away without yeah, much damage to Hickson. And Hickson gets to full guard. And time is up. Ooh. Hopefully the next round will produce a little more in the way of action. <laughs> um, I think Henzo needs to already did the hoist and just throw the out crap out. Yeah, just <laughs> thrown out great out the gate straight away. Hmm? Right. Oh, Hicks is not gonna let him get in close <laughs> enough. Straight in with the takedown, he gets a big one into side control. Oh. Henzo's not trolled by his strikes, and they go back into the same pattern again. <laughs> oh, uh, well, McCarthy stands yeah, him up before the end of the round. After oh, four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Nearly. Henzo's now bringing heavy for a little time, and a third looking Hickson shoots in for a takedown, but gets pushed to his hands and knees. And Henzo tries to drive a head the knee to the head, but Hickson's able to scoop backwards and stand back up. They start wrestling in the over under clinch. Hickson gets the advantage. Sweeps the leg, but Henzo defends it. Hickson trips again, but doesn't get it. <laughs> that was a bit of a snoozer. It's a bit of a snoozer. <laughs> this is five rounds as well, I think. <laughs> Oh no! A ragged looking takedown from a visibly tired Hickson. Enzo cannot stop the takedown because of side control. Hickson tries to get him to mount, loses control, and they scramble. Hickson pushes him against the ropes! Oh. And he tries to get a sharp sweep. And Hickson gets the leg trip. Hickson takes the back off the ground, off the takedown. He does well to block an attempt. Henzo blocks the body triangle attempt. Hickson blocks an attempt to roll. Uh, Hickson goes for the body triangle again, but Henzo fights it off. Tries to roll. Blocks the hooks. Blocks the roll. Tries the bodyguard and fails. Blocks the roll. Tries <laughs> to get the hooks but can't. Tries a roll. <laughs> oh my god. What a, what, a, what a barn burner. God, this is exactly what we expect from this tournament. Another ragged looking takedown from Hickson. He gets pushed with hands and knees. And that's the end of round three. Into round four. <laughs> oh no. Heads him up into the clinch. Henzo looks to sweep a leg out from under Hickson. He wants to take him down with a trip. Hickson blocks the attempted trip and takes control of the gra grapple. Uh, Hickson looks to muscle Henzo against the ropes. Hickson can't manage it. Henzo fought it. Hickson looks for a trip. He executes an outside leg trip, sweeping Henzo to the map where he pulls guard. Hickson tries to pass the guard. He passes the side control, but they, have to, they end up scrambling. Henzo now also looking really tired. And the scramble somehow results with Rickson underneath Henzo in north-south. Henzo throws a few elbows to the body, and Hickson's able to scoot out from underneath the north-south. And the scrabble results with Henzo being on his back, pulling half-guard. Hickson tries to get out of half-guard into a better position. He struggles but cannot find a way past. Henzo tries to full-guard, but doesn't get anywhere. Hickson tries to pass. They find this as scrambling. 
Uh, Henzo scrambles to his feet, but Hickson immediately drives him up against the ropes. Oh. One minute of the round remaining, with the ropes chopping Henzo, Hickson looking for, looks for a trip takedown by saving the leg. And Henzo's taken down. He knows him a pull guard. Uh, Henzo allows a pass, but it's just a ploy to allow a scramble. And as he's Hickson up first, he grabs a waist lock on Henzo, getting back control. And he falls to the ground, pulling Henzo down with him. And Hickson looks very, very tired as the round ends. They head back to their corners. Another very dull round. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, tired looking Hickson shoots in, looking for a takedown. Henzo sprawls, pushing him down to his hands and knees. And Henzo again going for the vicious knee strike. He has a very clear strategy now. Um, but he isn't able to connect. They clinch. Hickson gets control of the clinch. Hickson tries to push Henzo so that his back is against the ropes. I think Henzo is going to have to finish Hickson in this round because I think he's done enough to get the points. Um, Henzo stuck with his back to the ropes. Hickson attempts a trip to put Henzo on the ground. He doesn't get it. And Henzo blocks any attempt to move him. Henzo stuck against the ropes. Hickson tries to use a trip takedown. An outside leg trip sweeps Henzo down to the ground where he's left on his back pulling guard. Uh, in guard, Hickson throws a couple of punches. Uh, Henzo tries to get double underhooks, but he can't get them. Uh, Hickson throws a few strikes. First, Henzo tries to smaller Hickson, but can't keep control. Uh, Hickson fires off a few punches. Henzo tries to pull Hickson in again, can't do it. Hickson tries to fast guard. Um, they find this scramble there. Scramble ends with Hickson shoving up against the ropes. <laughs> oh, the King of Pride using the Pride special to great effect here tonight. I mean, it is the ultimate move. It really is. <coughs> the exhausted Hicks is wearing Henzo down by keeping him trapped up against the ropes and forcing him to carry a lot of weights, a lot of weight. Uh, 60 seconds go by with nothing happening. They're both exhausted and can't summon up the energy to do anything. Uh, Hicks does see the leg off from under Henzo and he gets it. That's surely going to um, secure the points for Hicks and Gracie as time expires around five ends. Oh wait, there's another one. No. <laughs> oh god. There's a sixth round. <laughs> Why is there a sixth round? I don't know. Why? Uh, Hickson gets up. Hickson shoots in. Enzo sprawls him down to his hands and knees again. Misses the knee strike again. <laughs> they clinch. Hickson gets the advantage. Hickson sets up a trip takedown. He gets a. Uh, Enzo does the pass. They scramble. Hickson pushes him against the ropes. Oh my god. Hickson looks for a trip, but he gets it. Weak clean punches. Henzo tries to hold him close, but he can't. That brotherly love coming into it again. Uh, Hickson doesn't allow the double underhooks. Hickson pounds away at right, but fails to land any significant blows. Henzo tries to pull Hickson in close. I thought that would be the end of the round, thank god. And uh, yeah, unanimous decision to Hickson Gracie. Hicks and Gracie, oh. unanimous decision. Gracie won climax. Defe oh, he actually counts as a defense. Oh, he defended it, yay! Nice. Uh, an average fight. That's being very generous. <laughs> um, there you go. Gracie's very happy to have won the Gracie won climax. He gets a big trophy, a big check, yay. and a firm handshake from his father. <laughs> that was part of the prize. Um, there we go. Um, actually, Quite a good show, 73% critical. 73 I, critical. Say, that's pretty, I thought it was a really good show, actually. It was, yeah, there was a lot of uh, very fun stuff in that show. Um, popularity increased. Yay. And uh, we get to this one. <laughs> Takata fight of the night. <laughs> I mean, it was. For... It was. Uh, Kevin ran them a knockout. Yeah, he did like three punches. Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. That yeah. was cool. Uh, Sakuraba submission or Frank Shamrock? Sakuraba. Yeah. Can we give uh, a performance bonus to uh, Takada? Yep. Yeah. Also, uh, these two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. A poor Volcan. Makes and Gracie making bank off tonight's carriage. Mm hmm. Um, Carlos Newton. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Carlos. <laughs> a jupe steal. Oh, jupe. That's probably not legal. <laughs> <laughs> now, here we go. It's um, also New Year's Eve, of course. Oh, let's see. Let's see who debuts in January. And we also got the end of year awards. 
Oh, I think I just saw a new debut. Who I'm very Same interested. Guy, in. I think. Uh, fighter of the year, Mark Coleman. Yay! Copy of the year, Boo. Uh, fighter of the year, uh, Masanori Suda versus Kazuhiro Kusiyanagi in uh, Pad Grace. Uh, knockout of the year, Gary Myers. Show of the year, Pad Grace Unforgiving. Boo. Uh, submission of the year was Olive Britain with a rear naked choke. Main event of the year, Yam- <sighs> Yamamaya versus Shikaj. <laughs> that name. Uh, yes. Mark Coleman's rookie of the year. Yes, well, our signing. Yay. Team of the year, Pound Criticism. We have some of their fighters. Oh. Uh, upset of the year, Sam Adkins defeating Moti Hornstein. And worst fight of the year, was hey, defeating Ryushi Yamagasawa. Mm-hmm. And Hicks and Gracie. Defends the for a title and debuting. Oh, uh, ignore that. <laughs> There's supposed to be a picture there. But uh, the Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, um, at the last minute, decided he wanted to go into um, MMA rather than pro wrestling. Don't question how we have the money for him. There's Not nothing to do with any illegal money. No. Um, well, uh, that closes out a full year of uh, Pride existing. I felt a lot of pride this year. So did I. And uh, we're going to feel even more next year. I'm sure. Of course we will. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's been a pretty good uh, debut year for us. We have a lot of contracts to renew. Uh, anyone else that. new debut? No, that's it. Oh, just, just Kurt? Yep. Oh. Um, I can't believe sure. we have to wait so long for Bob Zap. <laughs> <laughs> Does this have like... um? Our, our own top fights and stuff? Uh, history, so. maybe? History. I think that's just the carpet card. Well, can you kind of look? Yeah, we can, we can look through the history, see what happened. So there's, a, there's the first card. Hicks and Gracie. Takata with the distance. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, Truly the greatest night in the history of our sport. The first Hicks and Henzo fight. <laughs> uh, which was... Average. I'd like to say it the first one. Or the, the second one. Yeah. We also had Volcan and Pele in a very good um, split mm. decision. So that might uh, warrant a rematch in the future. Mm. And we also had Sakuraba debuting with an armbar on Gary Goodridge. And also Kateo and Anyo <laughs> in another mm. split decision. Um, we had Metzger and Severn then. Probably Tree stay hungry. Uh, mm. Takada defeated the evil Finnish environmentalist Tony Hallam. Oh, he's so evil. So evil. And finish. And finish. Uh, Hans Neumann, I think, who was rechristened the stalker after that fight. The corner man. Yeah. Because <laughs> he got back him into the corner. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean too. <laughs> and Heath Herring and also T. Ortiz, who is a bad boy that we all want to change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Price 4 Story Weather, which was our best uh, critical show. 76%. Volcan. Uh, so yeah, Volcan and Hickson Gracie did the main event. Uh, Volcan pushing Hickson more than anyone has so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, Henzo Gracie put in Pat Miletic. Kazuki Sakuraba did an amazing Anaconda choke on Tom Erickson. Katao and Yarbrough happened. <laughs> I was going to say, don't forget the dream match. Yeah. And uh, Tamiura beat Pele. Oh yeah. And also, yeah, uh, the, the legend of Shoot Rocky began that night too. <laughs> wow. What a night that was. <laughs> um, I think there was prelims. Yeah, Newton and Bustamante debuted. Oh, and Gilstrap. And Remember Gilstrap? Gilstrap? What oh. a name. Was... Oh, him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just remember the name, because it's a fun name. Do we still have him? We don't. Uh, we'll bring him back for the, right. the Heart of Pride Championship. We can bring him back for the uh, for uh, the first uh, series of the Pride reality show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the Japan versus the world. Whenever that's happening. Yes. Um, so yeah, then we had our first shockwave event to close out the year, New Year's Eve show, as mm-hmm. is tradition in Japan, uh, which was Hicks and Gracie uh, cementing himself as the king of pride. So yeah, that's a pretty good thing. And the add? ultimate Gracie. And the ultimate Gracie as well. Can um, we make his nickname the ultimate Gracie? We will do that. Yay. Uh, stay tuned for we'll have more pride coming Eventually. I'm not going to make <laughs> At some point. At some point. Uh, Wonder Day Silva will be debuting on the next show. <laughs> That's oh, what. Yeah, I forgot we had him. Um, Randy Couture, I think, 
Has he showed up? Yeah, yet? we do have Randy Couture. Have, have, have we used Randy Couture? Oh, yeah, he, like beat Tom, he beat Tom Erickson. I'm proud oh, to yeah, Tom Erickson. Yeah. He hasn't shown up since. <laughs> um, who else? We got uh, Mark Kerner. He done anything yet? Or we just I, think he had, I think he's had one fight. Um, no, he just signed him. No. Um, I don't know who this is. <laughs> he's not even a fighter. I think we signed him because he was a greasy <laughs> fighter. Um, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. Mm-hmm. We'll have, uh, we might have some stuff for the Heart of Pride Championship coming up in the next show. Uh, um, when did we sign Elvis? I think we signed him because of his name. Oh I God. mean, probably. The King of Rock or Rumble. Yeah, well, we signed him. Going in, <laughs> he's going against the Heart of Pride. Um, <laughs> he division. definitely is the Heart of Pride division. Yeah, as well as Dan Bobbish. The absolute yeah. unit. I was trying to remember who he was. I was trying to remember what one was that for. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a fun division. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up. We'll be there'll probably be more tournaments, <laughs> mm-hmm. more crazy weight differences, mm-hmm. all the stuff you want from the series. Takaji will be back. Oh, of course he will. Um, Wild will be back. <laughs> of course I will. I will be back. Well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. And uh, Takada will. Uh, be around. The cat will always be here it in our always hearts. be here in our hearts. In the heart of pride. Yeah, nice. But anyway, <laughs> until next time. Uh, I've been Ricky Dizuba, uh, your pride promoter uh, from the Tokyo Dome, and I was joined, of course, by uh, mildly amusing. Your uh, number one MMA boy. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so might as well plug your gimmicks. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to Ricky's YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Like this video? Yeah, do. You. Uh, other stuff? Comment. I like comments. Oh yeah, comment. I read comment all of them. Like, yo, Dan Bobbish, more like Dan Babish. Am I right? <laughs> you want the exact same place. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, now it's time to enjoy some beautiful Pride Victory music. Uh, do 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 do. Do 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 do